Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing macOS Big Sur on VMware ESXi. So today uh, it's a bit different because I'm doing an uh, ESXi video. I'm usually a Proxbox person. But I thought I would try out ESXi to see how much different it is to Proxbox and uh, maybe do a video on comparing the two. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, but first, um, we're going to have to install the VMware Unlocker for macOS. So to do that, we need to SSH. So we go to Host, and then we go on to Actions, and then Services. We're going to enable the Secure Shell or SSH. So once it's done that, it will give you a warning message, which is correct. You shouldn't leave SSH open if um, you weren't using it. But then you want to open up CMD and SSH into your server. So I'm going to do that. Just find out the IP address. And we're going to get right started. So here we are. It's asking us if we want to connect. But yes. And then enter your root password. So here we are, we're in uh, logged in. Now we're going to first uh, clone the git repository with it in it. Um, so let's do that. So we need to do git clone. And if it doesn't, it says that it's not fun, you might need to install it. Um, which I might have to right now, so give me a moment. So I've decided to do a bit of a different approach. Um, we're going to actually just install, uh, download it from the website, uh, from the Git repo. It makes it easier. So we're going to click code and then download zip. And then as you can see, it's at the bottom. We head to one of our data stores and put it in there, data store browser, and then we're just going to upload it here. So select the file. Uh, I'm just going to do that now. You won't be able to see it being selected, but uh, just believe me on that. There we go, it's here. You can see. So now we're going to actually head back over to uh, SSH. Um, and we're going to actually configure. Uh, we're going to actually have to go into the directory. So it's in VMFS. So we're going to go into there. And then CD in volumes. And then you'll see uh, the different ones. I'm going to do data store one, which is a shortcut. And you can see that ESXi unlocker master.zip. Then we're going to do uh, the tar command. By the way, all the commands are in the description. Uh, so you don't have to write them out one by one. You can just uh, copy it. So we're going to replace them to with um, this. It is actually a zip file, so we're just going to use unzip if it is installed. There we go. ls and then cd into the ASXI unlocker. And all we're going to do is dot forward slash ESXi install.sh. Um, we're going to do sudo if we can. Um, we have permission denied. So let's try executing it like this. There we go. So can you see success? Please now restart the server. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll do reboot. And then if you if that doesn't work, you can always obviously go back onto the web interface and we're going to do you shut down then okay I think it will just shut down anyway yeah we're shutting down so I'll see you when it is actually uh, rebooted so it's successfully rebooted um, so now we are gonna um, obviously uh, see if we can create a virtual machine so if we click create and register VM as normal uh, when you're creating a virtual machine in ASXi Click create new virtual machine, go to next. We're going to call this obviously macOS Big Sur. 
and then the guest OS family, you can see now that there's a new Mac OS option. So there's different options here, all the way up to 10.14. Uh, but it just depends on which version you have. This one uh, that I downloaded only goes up to 10.14, but there is some that goes up to later versions, but it should all just work the same. So, we're going to select this data store that we want it to be in. So, it's some obvious uh, things, so RAM, things like that. Um, disk space um, and obviously select uh, ISO file so I'm going to do that, big sir and then click finish so here's big sir click that click on the start and give it a moment there we go, we've got the Apple logo look at that we're successfully booting now I'm just going to wait for it now to uh, boot up and I'll meet you on the install screen so you can see that we select the language so I'm in the United Kingdom so I'm gonna select that uh, next and we're just gonna literally set it up as though it was a real Mac and already comparing to Proxbox how smooth are the graphics um, and we actually haven't even installed VMware tools yet and it still is quite smooth so I'm going to uh, obviously select the drive, erase it. Now, you will see that you can't really do anything with the keyboard when you're setting it up. So we're going to have to literally just call it Untitled for now. Uh, but we can rename it later. Uh, it's just a weird thing with the keyboard. It might be because I've selected United Kingdom. I'm not sure. But we'll click Done out of that and just click install Mac OS Big Sur. So we're obviously going to install it. So uh, click continue. I accept all the agreements obviously. And then there we go. Continue. So about 16 minutes. So I'll see you in the 16 minutes when we reboot. So as you can see we've rebooted and now we've got about 30 minutes remaining for the installation to be complete. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. So as you can see now that we are actually um, booting. So it's just into macOS, it's about halfway booted. So I'll see you on the setup screen. It did take quite a long time, I'd say a bit longer than 30 minutes but um, it's usually uh, because of the speed of the SSD. Um, so, I'll see you in a moment when it's booted. So, as you can see, here we are on the setup screen. So, um, we're obviously uh, going to set our language. Now, it can be a bit laggy uh, when you first set it up, uh, but like freezing again and again, uh, sort of thing. Uh, but you just have to cope with that for the first time setup. Um, so I'm just going to wait. Um, I'm going to set it up uh, in the background as it is being quite slow. Uh, and I will meet you back when I've set it up and we're on the desktop. And here we are on the desktop. So as you can see we have full um, access if we go to about this Mac it'll just say Mac now uh, it's picked up the frequency of the CPU that is correct and the RAM but you can see that the display says 3 megabytes so it's not that great but now we're going to install VMware tools which is supported by macOS so we're going to eject the install big uh, DVD drive I'm going to insert the macOS uh, VMware tools click install um, we're going to actually have to download that so let me just grab the ISO file for it so we have the Darwin ISO file which is the VMware tools for macOS so I'm going to just upload that to my ISOs folder so There we are, we successfully uploaded. 
So now we go to actions and then go to edit settings and then we select the data store ISO device do you dial in ISO click save wait for it to mount also we're gonna have to click connect here there we go and you can see VMware tools has come up so if we right click on that and click open here we are click continue install then it's gonna prefer for installation it will ask you for a password that you log into macOS with which isn't a problem to set up but we are going to have to here we go enter the password press enter and it's going to actually run some uh, scripts you may get a uh, blocked uh, system extension but I'll show you how to fix that soon there you go so we'll click open security preferences uh, and we're gonna click the lock at the bottom enter our password again and click allow so allow and then click restart and then we're gonna actually uh, rebuild the system extension cache with OK give it a moment I'll be back when it's done there we go never mind um, just click cancel for now it's updating the stuff and we're gonna click restart so I'll be back when the virtual machines restarted here we are we'll restarted so we're gonna actually see if we can put it in full screen as you can see we are now in full screen on macOS just by doing that we've changed the screen resolution without going into system preferences you can see that it's a very smooth uh, experience so if you're wondering what the failed to connect thing is it's because I'm using a proxy right now so ignore that Sh that should not happen for you but you can see that um, now we are actually uh, on the macOS desktop so it's really really smooth it feels like I'm using a real Mac if I close that it feels very smooth and if we go to about this Mac now as you can see the display is 128 megabytes now instead of 3 or 9 or whatever it was before so yeah that is how you install macOS Big Sur on VMware ESXi um, the only downside to this is you won't actually be able to get iMessage working, FaceTime, etc. Um, this is because you cannot install Clover or OpenCore. Um, so just bear that in mind. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. I've been HSVE. Goodbye.